Good afternoon, and thank you for the opportunity to speak today. Even though I'm not able to join you in person, I'm glad to speak with the next generation of Ukraine's leaders at this forum. As you all saw in the news, President Zelensky and President Biden met recently at the White House. I was fortunate to join that meeting, and I'm glad to report that the bonds between the United States and Ukraine are stronger than ever. Both President Biden and President Zelensky are committed to Ukraine's Western orientation and full Euro-Atlantic integration. There's much work ahead, but we are going to work together using tools like our Strategic Partnership Commission and a new strategic defense framework to strengthen our relationship even more. We are looking forward to the first meeting of the reinvigorated Strategic Partnership Commission this fall in Washington, when we will approve a new charter and plot the course for future cooperation. The Strategic Defense Framework will provide the structure around which we base our defense cooperation. We will work together on issues like countering Russia's aggression, fighting corruption, promoting Black Sea security, defense industry reform, and cybersecurity. These issues matter to both of our countries, and we are glad to count Ukraine as a key partner in protecting our shared interests. During the visit to Washington, we announced an additional $60 million in defense assistance to Ukraine. This is on top of the $400 million in security assistance we have committed to Ukraine this year alone, and the $2.5 billion committed since 2014. This assistance helps Ukraine meet its current and future challenges and protect its sovereignty and territorial integrity. The United States stands by the 2008 Bucharest Summit Declaration that Ukraine will be a NATO member. It is important to remember that achieving NATO membership is not a sign of military strength, but a reflection of a strong democratic society that believes in principles like equal justice for all, respect for human rights, transparent government processes, and free elections. The United States is committed to ensuring that NATO's door remains open to all aspirants when they are able to meet the commitments and obligations of membership. As Ukraine works towards Euro-Atlantic integration, we must remain clear-eyed about the challenges Ukraine faces, both from within and from outside its borders. Russia seeks to destabilize Ukraine and block its path towards greater Euro-Atlantic integration. This is a path the Ukrainian people chose. Ukrainians fought and died to protect that choice on the Maidan, and they continue to fight on the battlefields of eastern Ukraine, where just this month more than 30 Ukrainian soldiers have been injured or killed defending the country against Russian-led forces. The United States stands with Ukraine and will continue to work to hold Russia accountable for its aggression. We have made this clear. Further aggression from Russia will have costs and consequences. One of the most effective ways for Ukraine to defend itself from Russia's aggression is to forge ahead on crucial reforms and defeat corruption. Oligarchs and corrupt individuals put their interests first, and this weakens important institution and exacts a heavy cost, literally and figuratively, on ordinary Ukrainians. I'm certain that you all have your own stories about corruption, a problem that touches nearly everyone in Ukraine. However, Ukraine has made progress in building institutions with integrity, which should not be overlooked. The country has created mechanisms to increase accountability for public officials through its asset declaration system, developed a transparent public procurement process, and established independent anti-corruption institutions. Ukraine's government is also carrying out the hard but important work of decentralization, which provides for Ukrainians better services and more access to their government, from the smallest Carpathian villages to the largest metro centers. We strongly support this effort and have committed nearly $150 million to this ongoing reform. Some of these uh, reforms are under threat, not because they're ineffective, but because they work. And protecting them requires that Ukrainians across the country urge progress on these issues. This summer, for example, the RADA passed and President Zelensky signed a reform of the High Council of Justice, a major achievement. We have seen this week, though, attempts to obstruct the implementation of this reform by the Council of Judges. I know that the Ukrainian government, civil society, and international partners strongly support moving forward with this critically important step in reforming Ukraine's judiciary. 
You are those Ukrainians. You, today rising leaders, and before you know it, you will find yourself in positions of power and influence. The United States supports Ukraine, but you decide the future of your country. You must commit yourself to it, and you must work together to build lasting democratic institutions and hold those who undermine democratic principles accountable. Ukraine faces plenty of challenges, but the future is bright. Please know that the United States will stand with you as you work towards a future where all Ukrainians can live freely and securely. Thank you.